Erlang dropping Shinra. Really? Okay. Hmm. It's Megumi, right? Yeah, Megumi. And Erlang probably wants to get rid of Utsuro. Got a lot of really potent enhancements. Reap is bad for it. Can't rely on having Megumi and um doesn't have a way to beat Reap with the other two. Oh, Himika. Interesting. All right, didn't quite catch all the mulligans there. Yep, getting rid of Shadow Wing is fine. Keeping is fine too, because it's good discard fodder. Oh, okay, that's already mulligan.
Alright, they look the way to address some stuff. What do we got? Alright, a pastum. And appeal. Okay, Maro's taking that to life, so they lose the top three cards of their deck. And they Erling is a basic action, which they both have to perform. Move backward. Interesting choice. And then pass. That's also interesting. I would have can I would have thought Frostbite would come out there, but I guess not. Only one of Mario Sims attacks is in range currently. Focusing off the ice token and getting another focus. Could very well be the right play here. Looks like there's also going to be a flinch. Oh wow, just developing both the passives right now. And hit Blade Dance. Pretty sap. What does that leave Erling with? Just Harmony in the deck. This is going to be really taxing on Mara Simp's Flare, but it's also going to be very frustrating for Erling, because Erling has a lot of enhancements in his deck. Oh, okay, and we're getting the Headwind Acid Spray. That's another one that's hard to deal with. In terms of economy, about the same, taking either of those to life. deciding whether to reshuffle or not. Alright, here comes the reshuffle. Yeah, taking that aura damage probably be a bit much right now.
is going to be it. all cards recover. Like it, or maybe move forward. It's interesting, no consideration given to keeping any of those cards. No, hold on. Um, well, I guess Mars technically allowed to use their own aura to do a retreat that was not required at Master 3, though. Yeah, the attack was discarded, so we're at the appropriate vigor here. Okay. Backing out to range 5, don't know why. I guess to play around most of Greenest cards and some... This card move forward, locked at range 4. Not a good range to be locked at. Thing not to read double. The game is bigger.
All right, so playing the blade dance to the vanilla two one to see if he can get uh, brandish in. Doesn't look like he can. As blade dance to take life, which evens us out. Although Mari's gonna have to reshuffle a little earlier. Her leg is flinched by Coxwain straight. Oh, okay. Nothing to take the hit. That can theoretically be reacted to, but I don't think that's going to happen. And playing the 2-2 two -two here is strictly working against yourself, because you make it easier for Yurina to move back in. Oh, hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. So it's 3-1. And it's going to make the distance 7. That does help build Ash in the... I think it's considered pretty good. Actually, I kind of like Uplestum with uh, Arena's final blow. No, now I think about it a little bit more. Your opponent's got this really substantial incentive to not go to full aura, but then if they're within range, uh, Arena's final blow will very handily punish them. Alright, Erling getting range locked. Probably still not worth playing any of But you can hold them. Yeah. I think that's correct. You're right, he can play those out to uh, un -aura lock himself, but one of them is just going to be flat out played for nothing to flip Lighthouse. Yeah, true, 4 to 5 is pretty bad for that. Okay, so looks like he's flipping Lighthouse. With, uh, Rhymethorn? Yeah. Means he's probably playing Frostbite to Resurge as a possible. Yeah, boost slash is actually worth taking to aura. Looks like he's just going to go for a 3-2 into 3-1. Which he didn't have a way to fill the aura without frostbite anyway, so it was plus one plus one or plus one plus one. I guess he could have done 4-2 and then 2-1. This way he does resurge with the stun though, so.
Oof, losing appeal. Well, I think at this point he needs to be thinking about moving into range for Urena's final blow, so he wants to try and get as close as he possibly can. And the extra life damage isn't actually going to matter as much as uh, keeping the aura down. Oh yeah, can't use the tower without flinching himself. The lighthouse. Dark poles. No, oh, so much for holding onto it. Oh yeah, he didn't attack at all, but he'd already attacked with Blade Dance. Torpedo. And we're back to range 6, and here comes the Acid Spray. I don't think Erlang really cares about his Flare right now. But it might be worth taking it to Aura just to be able to move up. He's already been punished by taking the 3-1 to Aura and then eating the 2-2, two -two, though. I think, like, putting myself in Damaru's seat, I would be very happy for him to take the 3-1 to life and then just not play the 2-2. Two -two. But if he does take the 3-1 to Aura, then you kind of are obligated to play the 2-2 two -two afterwards, right? Like, this situation suits Maro fine, because now Wessler or, or Erling is going to have a uh, more difficult time moving forward to threaten Maru with anything. In fact, um, if he gets a, a tailwind on this Ashi or whatever. Uh then it will be three three and there's a good chance, especially if Erlang tries to play a uh, special that we'll be able to get an Ash and Dash two off with full moon, but Looks like the reshuffle has been opted for. I think there's actually a decent argument to take the frustration damage to Aura just to make it easier to move up, though. And you get that powerful enhancement, which you can't play because of Lighthouse, but... got the flare, he's got Uranami, he's in resolve, he just needs to get into his final blow range and be able to stay there at this point. Okay, leaving the lighthouse up and focus advancing. Yeah, I think there's a there's a it'd be tempting to do the uh, flip of lighthouse just to see if Maru keeps wasting flare on it because I don't think it's doing terribly much right now. But you can keep like making them burn flare on it to keep them from having their other special. And it is certainly tempting to keep playing Lighthouse because it it does frustrate your opponent. And you know it's frustrating though. Oh 
Oh yeah, yeah. If your tailwind it flinches you. All right, dark pulse. Probably going to find the appeal. I oh, highly wow, doubt is. that Erling's taking this to life. And having just reshuffled, Mario really wants to get rid of appeal. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, but no lethal yet, right? Because of Uranami, Uranami right? Yeah, Uranami is online. Uranami is a little bit problematic, though. If you do it at the right time, uh, Uranami could make Full Moon into a dash 2, which could end up causing lethal. True. Holy shit, that trend slow. A okay, bunch of enhancements that you can't play. Why? Oh, yeah. Why yeah. he don't play the acid? Oh, who's that? Why Maru don't didn't play the the acid? Uh, um, the probably five to six. That's a good question, actually. I mean, right? There's, the, there's an argument for not doing it because you're trying to range lock, but at the same time, no. If you choose Aura, then you can play full moon. Yeah, you can play full moon, and you can also throw out the three three if you were in the right range, which is um. But. Right. I don't think Erlo will choose Aura at that moment. What about... Right. He's not taking a basic action. Or like mm -hmm. saying, no, you can't take a basic action with that discard. <laughs> but you cannot keep playing the way Maru Sim played, though. If you keep moving backward, eventually... The Yurina player can move for keep moving forward and look at that player. Fortunately, there is no Suki Kake to punish on that, but no. that's still quite dangerous. Yeah, agreed. He's going to get to a point where there's literally no shadow to put in the distance or into his aura, and that's when yeah. the final blow will come yeah. out. You can do that if uh... final blow for one life damage. Here we go. Friends lock only works if you have life advantage over your opponent, and in the span of several turns, you will win. He did initially, but uh, did not manage to keep it. Yeah, the problem is their range is 5, so range lock doesn't do that much to them anyway. It's not like the final, uh, the classic Yurina with 2 to 3, I mean 3 to 4 range. Mm -hmm. We are facing yeah. Karuno as well. Karuno and the Yurina A2 has appeal and harmony, which all reach out to range 5. Yep. Not to mention so many enhancements between the two Megami that it's just very easy to unor a luck. Oh, goodbye, Brandish. Happy to see that one. I think bringing both Shadow Wing and Torpedo may have been a mistake on Mario Sims' part, but... Oh, could this be All Out Torrent? All Out Torrent sounds pretty good right now. That's 3-1, right? It would be 3-2. Three, 3-2, two. Three, two, no reactions normal, and damage goes the distance. It's Hedwin. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's 2-1 then. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I had my friend, sorry. Uh, what? No, 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 no. Wait, does that work? Oh, no. What happened? Uh, he played it all out as a 2-1 and took two aura to distance. Okay. It works, right? I've never seen it used that way, but uh, I guess that does work. I thought the, the all out effect was conditional on headwind also. <laughs> so I tried to pause the game. Oh, no, no, no. I know. <laughs> okay. Come on, we need shadow, man. What kind of Utsuro with two Saito in this time? Uh, I don't know about erosion. I don't know what you would replace. Lighthouse, for all of its shadow costs, has been doing some work. Freaking about uh, planetary, planetary tech and lighthouse is a bit, uh, uh, a bit aggressive actually, I think. Not aggressive, how to say that? Uh, a bit greedy, I think. Mm. You need one more offensive or defensive tool. Yeah, Aquaform Salvo would have been pretty interesting in this match. That would have let him uh, break Aura quite a few turns. Yeah. Additional Dodo is always nice. Yeah, Aquaform Salvo is pretty good in the last three turns, I guess. If he intend to play range lock like this. Hmm. If you did Thalia Hatsumi and used Aquaform Salvo, would your, your artificial sacro tokens returning would resurge it, right? Oh no, because it happens at your turn. Never mind. Yeah, it's happening in your opponent turn only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's a way you could force that effect. Maybe weird charge on the stage. That's not worth it. No, that makes it that makes it further away too. I don't know. All right. Yep, it does make sense though. Imagine if you can uh, immediate research salvo in your turn. You attack to to move forward and then research, and then after that you play something that move you backward twice, and then play that again. <laughs> yeah, no, especially because uh, you get a basic action when it resurges. Oh. Mmm, this is juice. Oh, this is little, right? Two, two, three, two, 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 three, three. Uh, right? Uranami is if, still unlucky. If no response. <laughs> even with Uranami, even with Uranami. Um, no, if, if he has the the card, I cannot pronounce it, the enchantment yeah. from, from Koru. Koru Charto. Yeah, oh. Koru Charto. Uh, no, that's then Koru it won't Charto. be. Porochato is not here. Porochato, right? No Porochato. Oh, I mean, if. Uh, uh, Maru yeah, yeah, don't know. They could play around Maru that. didn't know. Doesn't know. But, mm, does that stop mm, something yeah. more than Ernami? I guess it does. I don't think you would have 10 flare if you were holding on to Porochato. Honestly, I don't know if you think that of Maru. Poro Charto with ten, you know, with ten flare, and your opponent trying to range lucky the whole game. Yeah, correct. Actually, if you bring Poro Charto, probably you already played that a long time ago. Oh, Uranami right so now. Oh my God. 
No, 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 no. Two, two, huh? Okay. Oh. Three, one, two, two, three, three. All right, this is game. Three, right, two, two, three, two. three, two, three. Now, how, what, what special nah, can they play? Not even two, um, play. You don't even have to play your special. Yeah, you, play you don't special. even have to play that. Uh, well, no, you play the special, right? It doesn't matter what happens. There's enough Yeah, dust. just three, three, and two, two. Three, GG. Two and full moon. You win with the full moon. Isn't that cool? Come on, win with full moon, man. You still Please. want to spawn in here. <laughs> hey, right? there's, there's enough dust. Dust. Super ash, and now it's a dash two, and you can't yeah. do anything. Goodbye. Yeah, win with full moon. Let Utsuro oh take the win here. <laughs> it's really gets enough wins these days. I uh, excuse you. <laughs> nice.